Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Black Tiger here today, guys. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys um, everything you need to do to uh, complete the Celebrating the Forza community. And uh, yeah, this this uh, Forza Thon is extremely misleading. Like, I was like, what the heck? Okay, there's a 911 GT3 right there. I thought this is the one we're going to be able to win in this Forza Thon, which I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, were as well. Because uh, a lot of people have done this Forza Thon, they're probably thinking they'll be able to win that. But uh, that is not the case whatsoever. It turns out that uh, the 2004 911 GT3 is what you'll be winning here. And it's a, a must, much less exciting car. At least in my opinion. I think the new one's a lot cooler. But uh, yeah, I guess a free Porsche is better than no free Porsche at all. So... Yeah, not bad. You also get another 918 Spider in this uh, Forza Thon for some reason. It's kind of strange. We already had one Forza Thon with the 911 in it, but apparently we're getting another one. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. But yeah, I've completed every single event for you guys, and I'll show you how uh, exactly I did that. So, let me just disable traction control first here quickly. There we go. Much better. Alright, well first guys, quickly we'll give you a little exhaust clip of this car, because it does actually sound really nice. Um, the exhaust on it, for some reason, it seems to sound extra loud. So yeah, we'll give you guys a little exhaust clip here quickly first. Yeah, towards the higher revs, it does sound pretty insane. It's almost like the exhaust is like a little extra loud or something. But yeah, it does sound really nice. I'll take a look at the interior here quickly if you guys haven't done this Forza on yet. It's still on for another three days, so yeah, I'd highly recommend doing it. A lot of cool stuff you guys can win. A lot of XP and money to be won as well. And uh, yeah, so let's get started off here with the first event. So yeah, perform 20 speed skills in a retro hot hatch to earn 25,000 XP and 50 grand. So yeah, not bad. Let's go over to, um, actually, let's see if I can just go to my cars here. Or can I even, oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so yeah, just go to sort and then go to championship again here. And you need the retro hot hatch, I believe it is. Oh, I'm going the wrong way here. Wait a minute. Yeah, we'll go this way. Go to the right. No, oh, I think we just... Yeah, here we go. Retro hot hatch. So, yeah, here are all the retro hot hatches. Um, you guys should definitely already have one. I just picked the uh, Honda Civic Type R because I already kind of riced it out a bit. <laughs> but, like, gigantic camber and, like, huge stance on this thing. And uh, souped up the engine fully so I'd be able to get these speed skills easily. So yeah, I just got in this thing pretty much, and then 10 grand to deliver that, forget that. So yeah, so um, then all I did was I went to the highway here, and then all you need to do is just like drive as fast as you can. I think the top speed, I didn't tune it or anything, so the top speed, like maxed out engine was like 176 or 178 miles an hour. And yeah, all you need to do is just keep going fast like that. And you'll keep getting speed skills as long as you don't hit people and, like, lose a skill chain, obviously. And it doesn't matter what kind of speed skill you get, uh, what kind of speed skill you get. Like, if you get, like, the great speed, amazing speed, or just regular speed, doesn't matter. They all count towards it. But, yeah, I would definitely, if you get a couple of them, I'd stop to for them to bank just to make sure you can get that achievement. 
But yeah, that one's really straightforward. And then let's see here. Um, complete a championship in a classic racer to win the Porsche 911 GT3, which is this one here, and three-wheel spin, so that's actually pretty sweet. So yeah, we'll go over here and then go to your cars again. And you can sort. Go to uh, classic racer. Let's see where that's going to be. Classic rally. Let's see where's classic racer. Classic racers. Okay, here we go. So yeah, right here, like the really old cars are. I did races in the Sunoco T70 MK3B. Holy smokes, that's a lot of... Uh, it's a big name, but uh, yeah, I did races in that. It's pretty insane. I have that thing tuned for drag, so it's pretty difficult racing that. But yeah, I would definitely recommend doing a championship in the city. I hate like cross country races where you have to go over dirt and stuff. None of my cars are good on dirt, so I always just do the city races, and they, I don't know, they seem to go the quickest. Like you can finish them really quick. As you can see, I've done like all the city races. So yeah, I just did that for that one. Um, let's see here. And complete any championship. I actually got two at once. As soon as when I finished the championship in the classic racer in the Sunoco, I actually got the complete any championship no substitutions um, achievement as well. So it was pretty weird. Like I won the 918 Spider and 120 grand just from that too. And then the other one, all you need to do is win three races in an A class car um, to win 95,000 XP. So yeah, once again, just go to your garage here, guys. Go to cars. I, I would definitely fast travel to um one of the uh, what do you even call it? the Horizon Festivals, um just so that uh, you don't have to pay ten grand to get a car delivered. But yeah, just sort it by class here, and then you can just cycle through the classes and pick whatever A class car you want. And then what I did was I just tried to find the quickest street races. So like I'd go on the map here. And, um, like, let's say, where's street race? Okay, so, like, this one here is a street race. Well, they don't call them street races. They're, like, sprint races, but they're all on pavement, mostly. I don't think I've ever raced one of these that hasn't been on pavement. And, uh, yeah, they're, usually the race that looks like this is always pavement. So, yeah, just pick three of those. Try and pick, like, the, the shortest-looking ones. This one's pretty long, actually. Well, not too bad, I guess. Those are usually just like one type, one lap races. Well, you don't even do a lap. It's just like uh, completion. Once you get to the end of the to the route, then you just finish it and, and you win or whatever. But yeah, do three of those and then you guys will win 95,000 XP. I'm not really actually legitimately doing this for you guys because I already have and it'd just be a waste of your time and my time. But yeah, that's how I won all the achievements, guys. It's uh, really straightforward. It's kind of a disappointment though, I thought for sure. We're going to be winning the newer uh, GT3 would have been awesome, but yeah, I guess not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys pretty soon. Things are getting sorted out between me and my uh, um, partnership, whatever you want to call it, so more videos should be coming a lot sooner now. Um, yeah, I definitely want to start uploading a lot again soon, so yeah, stick around for that, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.